R is used for statistical computing and graphics and is completely free. It is used a lot both in academics and in the workforce, in my experience, and it's very useful to learn. In this video, I'll show the essentials of R programming in just seven minutes. Now, before we begin, make sure to download R and R Studio, which are both free. To declare a variable in R to store values, you use less than and then hyphen. You can also use equals, but it's better to just get used to using less than and hyphen because that's used a lot in uh, different types of tasks in R. And then to print the value, you can just use print and then X. So the same as in Python. And then to make an if statement, you just type in if, two parentheses, and then curly brackets at the end. And this is at the condition that x equals five. And if so, we're going to print x equals five. And because x is equal to five, we're going to get a print when we run the code. We can also add an else if statement after the curly bracket to add an additional condition, which in this case is that x is larger than five. And if so, we're going to print out x is larger than five. And we can add an additional condition that if x is less than five, we're going to print x is less than five. And then we can change the value of x and see if these additional conditions work. So uh, when we set it to four and run it, you can see that x is now less than five. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a for loop in R, which is used to run a block of code multiple times and also different types of counting. I is the value that keeps track of the number of loops that has already been executed. And then print I means that we're going to print the value of I in each loop. And because it is I in one to 10, it is going to run the loop 10 times. Now, if you want to add a comment to your code, you can just use the hash sign and then type in your comment. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a function in R, which is also very useful. So uh, let's do a function that multiplies your input number. So let's call the function first function. And then the function value or the input value is going to be x. And then the result is going to be x times two. And then return the result. And when we later call the function with an input, the returned result is going to end up in the console so that we can see it. And as you can see, running the code of the function is not enough. You won't get any outputs. You also have to call the function with an input value. And when we call the function with an input value of uh, five, for example, it is going to multiply that value with two and give us the output of 10. And if it's 10, it's going to give the output of 20. Next, I'm going to show how to read and analyze data in R. And we're going to use an example data set called MT cars, which is included in R. You can also read your own data by using the read.csv function. So uh, that's an option as well. Now, the first function we're going to use is the head function which gives us the first rows of the table. And if you want to see the last rows of the table, you use the tail function. So tail, then empty cars, and then control enter to run the code. And as you can see, the last rows of the table. And then to summarize the table, you can use the summary function, where we get the medium value, the mean value, the maximum and minimum value for each of the columns. Next, we can plot some of the data. So let's use the plot function. And then from the empty cars table, we're going to use the dollar sign to select the miles per gallon column. And then on the y-axis, we're going to use the column HP, which is horsepowers. And here we can see the relationship between horsepowers and miles per gallon. Next, we can also install 
a package which gives us even more options for plotting. So uh, let's install the package ggplot2 and then use the library function so that we can use it. And then we can use the function by uh, using the table empty cars, which is the test table. And then on the x axis, we're going to use horsepowers. And then on the y axis, miles per gallon. And then geom point is the type of uh, visualization for the plot. And then we run these three lines of code and get a nicer looking plot. There are also a bunch of different functions that you can use for finding the mean value, the standard deviation, the median value, and so on, that you can find online. You can also find the correlation coefficient between different columns by using the COR function. As always, we use the dollar sign to choose a column. And for this data, there is a negative correlation coefficient between miles per gallon and the amount of horsepower a car has. In R, we can also do a lot of different regression models, which uh, can give you the relationship between a dependent variable and a bunch of other independent variables. And knowing how to use these different regression models in R can be very useful for when you're writing a master thesis, for example. And this was my quick introduction to R. I hope you found it useful.